Bird. Nation, the entertainment feed community. We are going with up on the Tuesday Year Vibes Tuesday. Now we are talking people. We are going to and jump in at the stories. We are going to kick it off with the hot topic. What to have everybody talking from morning? Billboard snub Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. When Billboard magazine released the digital cover art for its story on the Versus Battle, the omission of the faces of dancehall legends Bounty Killer and Beanie Man did not go unnoticed. And I read the little part here from an article. Just the little part here. Fans of the iconic duo immediately began to cry foul, highlighting that the two men who had one of the best clashes in the versus history, the non inclusion was a downright insult. US producer Swiss Beat, who co founded Versus with the rapper slash producer Timberland, immediately photoshopped the cover, swapping his and Timberland faces with those of the dancehall legends Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. In an interview with the star, Swiss Beat stated this I was 100% shocked when I saw the cover. I knew they couldn't fit everybody on the cover because there were many faces that were left off it, but I definitely knew that Beanie and Bounty definitely should have been there. Stated Swiss. Swiss Beat attack about him the 100% shock. Swiss Beat never shot none at all. Swiss Beat was 100% okay when him see it. Remember, you know, people in you know, this morning's story, we state, I stated that. Uh, when Swiss Beat uh, shared the original, Swiss Beat never had no problem none at all. Uh, after dancehall fans, dancehall supporters, I said, no man, this no right. And that is when Swiss Beat decide to get him team and pitch patch up something and fling out there and say, you know what? Here it is. See it there? So Swiss Beat never 100% shock when him see it. Swiss Beat tell Billboard say thank you and one bag of things and say, oh yo, shout out to Beanie and Bounty. That is all Swiss Beat did. Swiss Beat never shocked like him and say, yo, this is outrageous. And although Bounty and Beanie now about no fire upon Swiss Beat, they more about the fire upon Billboard. I feel as if Bounty and Beanie don't see what go on. But because of the respect of them of for Swiss Beat and not just that with him, uh, provide a versus platform for them for the pan in the first place. So I feel as if uh, that's why them not really about no fire upon Swiss Beat. Them just say, you know what? A billboard are the one to take account for this. But anyways, after Bounty did done burn a small flame pan billboard, Bounty went ahead and burn a bigger flame pan billboard. Bounty reshared a post from Sparky Baby official but had a theme like a bit of flavor to it. Bounty Killer shared this with the caption. At billboard are some dick riding hypocrite groupies. They conveniently forget the reality but them can't stop the glory with a fraud story. At Beanie Man, at the real Swiss beats, at Timberland. But you see what I go on this up on the first picture in the post with Bounty Shit. It seems as if it's a snippet of an old article that Billboard did and it was done on May the 24, 2020. And you see what it says. The Memorial Day Weekend Sound Clash edition of Versus between Beanie Man and Bounty Killer was easily the most exciting and entertaining yet. So I wanna see why Bounty Killer say Billboard are some dick riding hypocrite groupies. They conveniently forget the reality and can't stop the glory with a fraud story. So Bounty Killer right now say she said they are some hypocrites. On the 24th of May, they give you that the highlight there. But when they do the real cover heart now, they say yeah, them one left with out of the thing. Sadie. But Bounty Post continued. Hashtag time now. Streaming arrived, we hoped for a level playing field, but it seems we have a bigger fight on our hands. We are left on the outside while the party is going on on the inside. Hashtag time now you open the door and let us in. We are the niche storefronts playlist at the DSPs. But rarely do we see our content on your mainstream playlists and pages, places alongside sanitized version of our own music which are selling platinum and topping charts. Time now you let consumers see and feel the roots, not just the fruits. Award shows celebrate amazing black music but not ours. Much of what you are awarding comes from us, yet you keep overlooking the source. Our music is seen as spice to flavor award shows. We need to be on the main menu. Time now you let us get the nod. Media platforms tell us our artists and stories are too niche when we are among the most vibrant creative people on the planet. Time now you open your pages to us. Time now DSPs pay us what we deserve for mainstream in the region. Time now record labels employ executives from the cultures so when you sign our artists you have the people who understand how to create with us and market our products. 
Several DSPs aren't even available in our region to gain subscribers from the Caribbean and our diaspora to boost our numbers and profile potential partners, labels, endorsements in open and close brackets. Love our vibe, but look at our numbers on your platforms and think that not us. Time now you take our consumers seriously. Great people work at DSPs and media platforms who tell us how much they love dancehall, reggae and Jamaica. Why are we not feeling the love? Time now to have curators, programmers and decision makers at these platforms who are a part of our culture and will actively promote and support it. Without major label backing, we have zero chance of being on New Music Friday or Feeling Myself or Mood Booster. Our numbers will not reflect our popularity. If the consumers cannot find us, time now you let consumers discover our new music too. Numbers will not reflect our popularity if consumers cannot find us. Time, don't know what going there, so I'll to remove us from the imagination you have us all in. When you hear what going there, so people, make we check out what Beanie Man had to say. Beanie Man shared this, big up Swiss and Tims, but this is what our genre face. Everybody forward and take a piece and build up them thing and then do everything to undermine the genre dancehall where they got it from. Don't try to undermine the thing. Hashtag dancehall. When will dancehall get its recognition? No matter how the impact, no matter how the hard work, no matter how powerful the music is, them still try it every time them get a chance. A time now man. Hashtag fix up. If you are creative, an entertainer or contributor to dancehall and reggae music, talk up time now. All dancehall music on all commercial radio stations give us value for our music, our streaming in our region, hashtag pay dancehall and reggae. Time now as entertainer, all creatives the same opportunity as the other genres that borrowed our style. Hashtag dancehall music deserves to be mainstreamed right across the table. But totally agree with what Beanie Man has right there. So, what people I want to tell me, oh no, I think about that. The place for that in the comment section, of course. Man, congratulations, King. We got the, the billboard, the billboard cover. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Yo, it was crazy because we didn't even get to see that joint till today. I didn't know, I know what the cover was going to look like. I seen the cover and was happy and was bugging at the same time. I'm like, we got to, you know. I know. But it's, it's, I, I, that's it's, what I was like. I, I, ain't know, I, ain't know, I smiled and I frowned. I was like, mm. Nah, that's all good. That's why we, we photoshopped ourselves out and put Bounty and Beanie in there because, you know, they did something that was super amazing. Um, so they the reason why people are in the room together now. They the reason, but let's 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 not forget, like, it wouldn't have been like official without the people agreeing, like the Sean Garrett, the Neo, Fast. all that. Like they, they actually helped create the spaceship that we created. Yeah, the, you know the Rizzers, the, Rizzers, the Primos, the Primos. Like they all a part of it. You know, I feel like they need to revamp. I mean, re um, evaluate that cover because I feel like what we done is we are the world. Nah, nah. I, I don't think the cover need to be reevaluated because everybody was covered throughout. You know what I'm saying? Like Sean Gary, everybody did get their props throughout the time. You know what I'm saying? You know, mm -hmm. we don't we don't control how the media do what they do. You understand? It's just Billboard is super big, but Sean Garrett, the Dream, everybody got their props throughout. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the verses that people was had on their mind, you know, um, but we don't write those articles. We, we haven't even seen those articles ourselves, but it's up to us to come and show love and thanks to everybody, to the Noriegas, to the Jopras, to the Shade Rooms, yeah. to the, you know, everybody all of the blogs alerts. that's been, everybody, everybody that's been helping us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's up to us to do that. You know, we can't let them create our narrative. We got to control it. Yeah, you know. I just, you know, we don't we don't write articles. You know, the people write the articles, but we photoshopped our own. We we fixed our own our own. You know, you see what time o'clock. You see what time o'clock. We're up and get the car here. And as usual, my people, big up Marcus. But. Mom. One, one. Yeah. Love the
Nation, the entertainment fee community, Wagwan, with the upon the Tuesday year vibes, Tuesday. People were been in the community from them time, the people were just a giant the community. Blessings, as a matter of fact, for the ones that were just a giant the community.